At Princeton University in the 1940s, there was a young graduate student by the name of Richard Feynman. Feynman was something of a prodigy. At just 15 years of age, Feynman had taught himself trigonometry, analytic geometry, advanced algebra, and differential and integral calculus. When we look at child prodigies, we often characterise their abilities as natural or God-given. Einstein's IQ, for example, is estimated to have hovered around 160, and while having an incredibly high IQ doesn't guarantee you success, it certainly helps. There is something about Feynman's achievements, however, that make him stand out amongst fellow geniuses. Because by conventional standards alone, Feynman doesn't seem to have been destined for greatness. On a school IQ test, Feynman scored 125. Now, don't get me wrong, a score of 125 makes you seriously intelligent. It puts you in the 95th percentile, meaning only 5% of people would score higher. And that's roughly one in every 21 people. But for context, an IQ of 160 would put Einstein in the 99.996th percentile, meaning that only one in 31,560 has an IQ this high. Put Feynman in a room of a hundred people, and the odds are there would be a handful of people that are smarter than him. And despite this, Feynman would go on to become one of the world's greatest theoretical physicists of all time, winning a Nobel Prize for Physics in 1965. So naturally, the question is, how? How did Feynman achieve so much? And the answer is surprisingly simple. At Princeton in the 1940s, Feynman noticed that when you asked someone a question, their answer was filled with complex vocabulary and jargon. Now, the answer sounded intelligent, but Feynman noticed something crucial. He noticed that the fancier the language people used, the less they actually understood about what they were talking about. On the contrary, people who had truly mastered a subject were able to describe it with stunning simplicity. And it was this observation that led Feynman to create a revolutionary approach to learning, the Feynman Technique. It was the Feynman Technique that allowed above average Feynman to become a world-class physicist. So how does it work and how can you use the Feynman Technique to become a better learner, a better thinker and a better speaker? The Feynman Technique has four simple steps. Step one of Feynman's technique was to identify a topic. Take out a blank sheet of paper on a topic you wish to learn about, and then write down everything you already know and the areas you wish to understand more deeply. As your learning grows, add more information, ideally with a different colored pen, and watch as your knowledge tree blossoms. This way, you reveal how much you know about a topic and, perhaps more importantly, you find out all the areas you don't know about. Then simplify. The second step is to take all this information and to simplify it. And simplify it to the point that you could teach it to a 12 year old. The great thing about this step is that it forces you to get rid of any unnecessary fancy words. And what you'll notice is that you are almost certainly using complex words that when you define you realize don't mean exactly what you thought they meant originally. What this method does then is it forces you to define your words in a step-by-step -step process. And I guarantee that you will find that many of the words you use have a different meaning to what you think they did originally. Step three, tell a story. Once you have simplified your understanding, organize it into a narrative. People forget facts, but they remember stories. Telling a story about the new information in a way your imaginary 12 year old could understand will not only consolidate your learning, but it will make it far easier to remember. And finally, step four, transmit. The final step is to find someone to tell your story to. Ideally, someone with minimal knowledge of the subject itself, or even more ideally, a real life 12 year old. And here you can get live feedback on whether your simple story makes sense to someone with limited understanding. Feynman used this technique not only to master quantum mechanics, but also to play drums, give massages, to tell stories, to pick up women in bars, how to pick Yale locks, and then how to open safes. In my own work, when I'm making explainer videos for companies with complex products and services, Feynman's technique is incredibly useful. The key to a great explainer video is to tell a simple story about a product or service and keep it within about 150 to 200 words in length. In this time, you need to raise awareness about a painful problem, introduce a solution, 
explain what makes a company solution uniquely valuable, and have a call to action that points potential customers to take the next logical step. And for this, Feynman's framework on removing jargon, keeping things as simple as possible, and telling a story is fantastic. So if you are looking to improve your ability to learn, write, and speak more effectively, have a go at using Feynman's method. That's it for this week's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.